infallible pro glow i got the color 204 uh, natural buff usually or what i have been wearing is maybelline's fit me matte and poreless foundation and i i liked it during the winter but now during the summer for some reason my skin is more dry i'm backwards apparently um, and I've noticed a lot lately that right around here on my chin and sometimes like right here on the sides of my cheeks, it gets really dry and you can see dry patches of skin and then it just flakes off and it goes out into the ether. So I've been really interested in trying the Pro Glow Foundation. It does have a sunscreen in it, um, an SPF 15. And it's a radiant finish for normal to dry skin and it's hydrating so it sounds so far so good it sounds really good to me it says to shake well and dot onto skin rolling motion for flawless coverage it is a radiant finish you can wear up to 24 hours it's medium coverage and air light texture so i'm gonna wear this today and throughout the day i'll check in and we'll let you know how it's holding up and what it looks like throughout the day. So let's get started. So today I'm going to be using my new Real Techniques Beauty Sponge. I let go of my beauty blender last night because it was disgusting. I'm gonna be priming my face with the Becca Backlit Priming Filter and then also the Pore Professional Primer. Just, I have some pores right here right here that we're going to take care of that way. And for moisturizer, I'm going to use the little sample that I got from my beauty box from Sephora, the Glam Glow Glow Starter Mega Illuminating Moisturizer, and mine is in Nude Glow. Okay, so the way I usually set up my foundation is I just squirt a little onto my hand. This says to shake well. So we're gonna shake. Oh, sounds really liquidy. You hear that? That sounds really, really liquid ass. Alright, I'll give it a try. Oh, Ooh, I'm afraid to. Oh, it's coming out. It's... Alright, well, we're doing this. Alright. Oh, it's kind of dark. It's kind of really dark. Oh, you're dark. Oh, no, you're not. that it really comes out like you barely have to put pressure on it to squeeze and it's like I'm come oh, sorry <laughs> coming out that's what I hate about getting drugstore foundations is um, it's gonna oxidize throughout the day or as it's going on to your face it's gonna get darker than when you, if you were able to even swatch it at the store. I mean, if you're able to swatch it in the store, great, but it was not always the case. Okay, so I've got it pretty much to where I want it. So now I'm gonna do like I would usually do on any other regular day, and I'm gonna use my, my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. This is not the right one. I use the shade Light, because I love this concealer. Like. I don't think I would go with any other really weird like white stuff kind of like stays behind when you put this on your skin I think it's the all I can think of what it is is the sunscreen which is really weird it's a pretty finish though so far so far so good all right so Some friends here that will go away. And then I always I have a beauty mark here that I'm not too fond of, but also I'm not interested in having it lasered off my face. I do like this flat edge though. That was smart. Good job, Joe. Let's get some nose, and then we'll be set. Because my jaw is pushed forward, I like to kind of lighten the top uh, upper lip. 
to give it this like, well, to make it seem more predominant, I guess. Okay, what do you think? Okay, so now I'm going to set it with my setting powder. What I like to use instead of the Laura Mercier setting powder or like the Airspun setting powder is actually uh, this dusting powder from Lush called Silky Underwear. So I'm just going to set just my under eyes here all. Usually I have to like set up here because I have two wrinkles right here about a half an inch apart. But they're not very predominant today, so I'm not going to do that. Um, normally I would like go heavy on with it and bake also so that while I'm doing my eyeshadow, whatever falls off I can just brush away at the end, but today I'm doing a how I used to do my makeup in high school look and bitch was not baking back in high school, so not going to do that. Right now, first impression is it looks really good. I definitely look luminous. I'm not noticing any dry patches just yet. It is 1.31 in the afternoon. So we'll come back at around 5 o'clock and see how this is looking. Um, I'm going to go run errands and I'm also going to shoot a video. So we'll see what it looks like after that. I'm not going to be sweating or anything. Well, I'll probably be sweating, but <laughs> it is Vegas after all. But we'll check back in a couple of hours. Oh my gosh, I'm running so late. So late. So late. It's already 3 o'clock. 3.06. And I need to get out of the house and run some errands. So I can get back here and like start dinner and continue cleaning the house. And Michael wants me to take the dog to the park. You have to go to the park. So. Yeah. So yeah. I have to run out and do like two things. Hopefully get back here. Hopefully get back here within an hour. And take the dog to the park. Still looking okay. But it's only 3 o'clock. Hey guys. So it is 5.02 in the afternoon. And... I wanted to let you know a little bit more about this product and how I put it on today. When I put it on, I usually put on like a full face primer and I, instead of just like spot treating certain areas with the professional um, and the Becca, Becca, Becca backlit primer. A little bit about this, it's sister was like the holy grail that came out last year, which was the matte foundation. And everybody loved that one and I thought about getting that one for a long time but when I started to get really dry and patchy in different places I decided that I was gonna go for the pro pro and I think I color matched myself pretty well in the matte my ride or die that got me through like two years the Maybelline fit me foundation matte and poreless I uh, wear the color 122 and it came like it's very close to this 204 natural beige color. I was terrified that this was gonna to be too dark. I'm not usually afraid of things being too light because I can always feel like I can always work with that a little bit better than if something's way too dark. It has oxidized throughout the day a little bit. Excuse the crazy makeup. I tried to make my, the way I did my high school makeup look a little bit more not so greasy and <laughs> weird but yeah it has oxidized just a little bit and I'm sure that's because of the I'm sure that's because of the sunscreen that's in here it does have an SPF of 15 like I said before just on the surf I didn't also I did not use any setting spray after I was done putting the foundation on my face I didn't use my um usually I use the all-nighter urban decay setting spray and I didn't use that it says up to 24 hour wear so I want to see what it does without any help of other product. Usually this stays on my face all day with the setting spray except for on my nose. I wear glasses uh, to drive or, or else I'm blind and I'm, well either way, kind of blind. <laughs> but uh, around here will usually come off or flake off as it has been lately. And uh, I did run some errands today in my car so I was wearing my glasses and it doesn't seem to have left my face too badly. It is it's super moisturizing. Like I've noticed my skin feels soft. I don't like to touch my face that much when I know I don't have a setting spray on but my 
my face def definitely feels softer and less, more hydrated, less dry than it usually is with the uh, matte and poreless. So that's what it's looking like. I'm gonna go make lunch late lunch and finish out the rest of my day. So I would love to hear in the comments what you guys think about the Infallible Pro Glow or if you got the matte foundation, um, the sister to this. Do you like that better? Have you used both of them? Does it work for you? Let me know. Let me know down below. Thank you for coming back to my channel. Please subscribe and click that like button. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.